refer to the map. Stop recording. Up at Frog Island Lake in Abinger Hammer. Just going to take you around the lake. It's like a friendly goose, probably after a bit of food. Hello. The temperature is now about one degree centigrade. And it's probably about 7.20 in the morning. We got here for 7 a.m. If I just pan around. Uh, this is the field you can park in. That's the A25 with the cars in the distance. And we're tucked away in that corner. So I'm just gonna have a little walk around the lake before I start fishing. the main gate and the shops are beyond there in the distance um, you can fish from 7 a.m. in the morning until dusk there's a sea that pond there you can do a bit of trout fishing three pound a go and you can take whatever you take uh, catch home by weight pay for it by weight so let's go on the other side now like a nice little lake. I've not fished this before. That looks like a nice little corner there. Summertime because it's fed in from the trout lake in that corner. And you can see the two islands now. Plain to see. Ooh, some nice properties in the background there. I wouldn't mind living there, I could just pop over to do a bit of fishing. Okay. Oh, okay. We should have gone this side, really. Cool. Water's still clear. And it's still cold. It's April now, and it's still cold. That's where we're setting up on the other bank. So I'm gonna aim for, I've already pre-baked, I put some ground bait in just the other side of that little island. Look how clear this water is. I don't know if you can see it.
a small lake. It's uh, they class it as a coarse fishing lake. So you've got bream, tench, carp to 26 pounds. Reminds me of one of those lakes you, you know you find on the common. Reminds me a bit of stew ponds. But they're getting stew ponds in Epsom, it's a bit run down now. There you are. The bush. <laughs> Watch where I step here. setting up it's going to use a method feeder and one carp rod they're going shimano all the way today shimano hosh <laughs> yeah professional fisherman so we've got shimano power loop carp or specimen should i say a shimano power loop medium heavy feeder okay good luck i'm going to catch first before you ha <laughs> um, ha never does fish coming up in my swim already Really? Yeah, well, I've just ground baited, put some corn out and put some uh, maggots out. Well, I better get some carp rods out then. Michael's trying the maggots today. some maggots myself. As I say, you need some maggots at this centre, mate. Yeah. Grab a tub and I'll fill you up with this one. I can't believe we're the only ones oh, here. Do you know, when I came down here a couple of weeks ago, mind you, it was in the afternoon, there was an overnight session. Oh, hold on, I'll tell you. There was an overnight session yeah. over there. And they caught one. And the way you're sitting now, yeah. there was another guy. I can't remember what he caught. And there was, and in the corner, I don't know if you see the geese in the distance, there was um, a man who looks like his wife or girlfriend fishing. And they only just set up when I got there. So they were the afternoon session. Um, but it's, it's very nice here. It'll be nice in summer. It will. One of those. This is going to be really, really interesting. So I've never done this before. What's that? Shows for the camera. This sign of uh, hair rig. Not hair rig, sorry. Um, sweet corn. Helicopter. We've got sweet corn, we've got ground bait, we've got maggot. Old school, this looks good. I thought, well, if we give it old school a try, um, there's not much to lose. <laughs> Someone's stolen your reel, Mike. I haven't even put it on yet. That's just there, uh, ready and ah, waiting. There's one there. There you are. Okay. One browning. Yes. Yep. Six pound feeder line from Corum. I do like my quorum stuff at the moment for some reason, it seems to work well. Along with my Shimano stuff. It's all good fun as they say. So that's your method feeder on the left. And one carp rod on the right. 12 foot, two and a quarter pounder by high it's a high pollute. Who makes it? Oh Shimano. It's a Shimano. Yeah, it's um high pollute, same as the uh, feeder. Oh. Right, the little branch behind me. That's fine. That's back to where I wanted to be. Good. You know what, lot? You lot who's watching, if you're brave enough to watch us two idiots, um, you don't know what my face looks like. Ha! Huh. I'll, I'll, I'll turn it round. <laughs> yes, this is why I call it the crazy fisherman.
they let me out once a week. Okay, these are the rigs I'm putting out today. I'm not going to bore you with the uh, dimensions and what hook size, etc, etc, etc. But this is my two. So, and they're on 10 foot rods, 12 pound and 18 pound line. I'm after the tench and carp today. That's my unhooking hat, Matt. And Here's my pod. I've got to turn on the alarms. Nash R3 alarms. My little seat. My landing net. And I'm all good to go. I've left me stuff in the car just in case it gets cold. <laughs> it is cold. Hello, oh, no. just before I show you my Android walkie talkie, here we are. You can uh, download the Course Fishing UK on Zello channels from Zello itself. It's a free app you can get from Apple or Android store. Um, I'll just do an echo test, so here we go. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. It uses the 4G signal, so you can stay in touch with your your uh, fellow anglers on the bank or night fishing for safety. It's just as good as a walkie-talkie. You can also download it straight onto your smartphone. You can use a Bluetooth earpiece as well, so you don't have to hold it in your hand all the time. Anyway, that's a a quick well, quick tutorial on what I'm using.
Okay, it's up update at midday. Blanking for the moment. Mike's just had a uh, mistake on his rig, carp rig. And um, we're still waiting for that first fish. Just watching the heaven having more. You think? No, that was no liner. That that was a take. But the fish threw it out of its mouth. It did, unfortunately. The heron is having more luck than us at the moment. Do you reckon it could be just a small one? A it's small one? Boiling, it's possible. It. Yeah. It's possible. Don't know. We we'll never know. I didn't blank. But I haven't landed it yet. <laughs> hey. That's big though. This is... Oh, I better go and get the landing net. Yeah. Good. Right. I'll hand you here this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because he's going to know all the snags. That is a nice car. Okay. Next call. Are you kidding me? No, your next call. I don't want to lose this. It's okay, it's okay now. It's a nice dark fish. Is he in? He's in. He's in. I'll let you take over. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's away. What's that? It's a common. Yeah. Let's move this so you oh, can put it. He is good five, six pounds. Okay. So either that stick weighs a bit, um, I've got problems. My rod. <laughs> Hang on. Put in back there for a minute. <laughs> Jesus. Just in the lip. Uh, four tips, he's got a funny shaped mouth. Oh, has he been caught before? Possibly. Mm. I didn't blink. Lovely. Three pounds, seven ounce. Common. From Fox. Fox? No, not Fox. <laughs> from Frog. <laughs> Frog. <laughs> Frog Island, Lake? Yeah, Frog Island Fishery. Yeah, that's it, Frog Island Fishery. And he's going back now because he's needs a little bit of a swim. Yeah, that's it. Then he's, um, I just lost one. That's a nice looking fish. Let's get the net ready. Do we do a big gilly? Gilly, It'd be easier. Oh. And we're in. I think this is a bigger one than I had. Okay, so, right. 
make sure you take that. Hang on, let me get that way. That's it. So Dave's now in. He's got a good sized fish. Do you want me to hand, give you a hand? Nice mirror. It is a nice mirror. Hang on, Ooh. hang on. Here we go. So we're on into the unhooking mat. I reckon Dave's got a bigger one than I did. Recording. Brilliant. This is six pounds, six ounces. Nice little mirror. So let's return him now. And uh, we've got about an hour's worth of fishing left to do. And it looks like this is turning it into an evening session. Again, the method feeder. Again, yeah, on the method of maggot. Method feeder and maggot, which I'm not using. But again, you if... your net, because he's really running fast towards me. Oh my god, you've got a double take. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. I've got. Go oh, ahead. right. Dur brain. <laughs> Yeah, it's right beside you. Another common. Do you want me to get it? He's in the net. Yeah, he's in the net. Hello, it's now 6.30 and we're now going to pack up in 10 minutes. I need a pen that writes. <laughs> so Mike's caught two, he's lost many and I've caught one. So two common carp to Mike and one mirror carp to me. We'll definitely be coming back here and we've noticed, well today anyway, they're all feeding along that margin right up close uh, especially in this corner should have guessed because there was a heron over there kept concentrating on that corner earlier and uh, just to let you know whereabouts we are if you come into the, the the farm gates over there we're parked here and we're over in a swim you've got the big old island out the of the two here small one here I thought that would be good but obviously not and as we speak and say goodbyes Mike's in again okay it's he's saying it's big and they're only three pounders <laughs> anyway I'm gonna stop recording so, um, yeah another one for the old net we have a nice five pound common this little beauty here if you were to behave yourself it's a beautiful fish that one as you can see he's uh started to behave um lovely little fight on him but kept wanting to go for marble rod for some unknown reason but there you go well, this is definitely goodbyes now. We're going to pack up. It's now 6.40. Yep. Clear up time. So, goodbye from me. And goodbye from me. Oh, you're supposed to hit, say him. Oh, like goodbye from me. Well, but he, he I've ruined that us. now. You know what? Oh. I've got a good phrase for fishing. Go for the fishing. Let's go. Let's lo go. I said that wrong, didn't I? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go fishing. Yeah, it's that boo. We should do that at the beginning of our videos. Right. Yeah, well, there you are. I'm going to clear up. That's our phrase. Say goodbye everyone. Bye fish.